Back to Blender Switch Live today, I'm gonna be doing something totally random using Grease Pencil. So I'm gonna delete everything and Shift A and create Grease Pencil blank. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing some doodles. I wanna show you the tool uh, that I rarely use. It's a it's a fill tool, which is this guy over here. But before we fill, we're gonna draw some strokes. Okay, so I'm gonna draw just like random stroke like this and you can have like multiple strokes it doesn't matter as long in the end you have like a like a close shape okay and after you do that after you do the doodles um, you can use the fill tool and with the fill tool before we fill anything we want to create another material and in fact, you can also use a different layer. So we want to separate the stroke and the material. For the material fill, let's try something maybe like purple or pink. Okay. Um, and just start to fill uh, the shapes like that. So it's, uh, it's a pretty simple exercise. Um, let's try another material and it's gonna be yellow color the funny thing about this fill tool is if you if you work in the from the top view like this when you fill it's actually projected flat okay but if you use the middle mouse button and start to move it to different camera angle and you're you're, you're filling the the shapes right what you found funny is that the shape is actually kind of floating okay it's really quite weird maybe that's what you want maybe that's not what you want but still it's uh, something you need to know and let's try another color let's try green it's actually try try to feel based on a, like an empty shapes that's uh, kind of like a, yeah see it's trying to feel that shapes based on whatever it sees it's, it doesn't really feel exactly the outline unless you go to the top view and then try to fill the gap even so like sometimes it feels the shapes but it's actually considering the other shapes so it's a uh, pretty unusual uh, pretty unusual ways to feel but anyway uh, let's save this anyway it's, uh, it's pretty random anyway so random GP and so if you want to turn this into 3d shapes it's always like that because grease pencil even though okay you can render this grease pencil already it's pretty abstract looking and each of the material is separate I think the grease pencil yeah we have different layer for grease pencil if I'm not wrong so let's say I don't want to render I don't want to convert the stroke let's see I think if I select just a single layer and then just right click convert to Bezier curve Okay, it's converting only that layer and then I select this layer, convert to Bezier curve. Okay, yeah. It's separating uh, the conversions into different layer. The first one is pretty straightforward. It's just a simple curve. It's pretty high in density. If you look at the edit mode, using tab it's a high density kind of curve and normally to turn this into real objects we use uh, geometry nodes right and we're gonna resample the curve first using the length yeah something like that it's, it's simplifying the curve and you can actually tell yeah by the points For now, uh, 
we want to fill the shape so fill the curve you can fill it with triangles or you can fill it with n-gon n-gon is probably cleaner and then you can do like extrude and then you can do like a random value extrusions you can feel the curve also differently using like a uh, random points but this is also kind of fun you already have shapes this guy if you try to do the same thing however you will see that it's actually flattening the curve okay the curve was originally remember it was in in a 3d space and then it's not actually flat but the, apparently the fill curve is actually flattened flattened this curve bef when it's doing the fill um, maybe that's what you want maybe that's not what you want let's let's try to fix that so you can see here before after the fill it's totally flattening the curve uh, to the ground if we don't want that to happen um, we could okay this is one example I'm gonna save this first file save as there's one another way to do to kind of fill this gap you can uh, resample and then apply to the to the objects now we have this mesh if you go to edit mode and try to fill this gap yeah you can select the points and then command l and fill it one by one or if you try to select all and then fill no it's not gonna do the job for you if you want to do it cleanly however right click or actually f3 separate by a loose part now it's separating every object right now you can select this guy and then go to edit mode fill now we have a clean shapes it's really strange that you're able to do this but it's still i think it's pretty powerful now that we have all this collection of objects we can rejoin them and then go to geometry nodes and then extrude why am i showing you this because it's a uh, it's interesting i think um grease pencil in blender is pretty powerful like that it's, it's almost like if if uh if you use blender and a vr and uh, grease pencil is kind of like connecting between 3d and 2d you're gonna be in vr you're probably like gonna be in 3d like this and then you are trying to draw like this pencil stroke like a volume and then you want to do like things like fill you want to turn like strokes into real volume of course the like if you use if you like make every points like a uh, volume is much easier but if you have like a shapes and then you fill it it's just in different different matters okay i have this random extrusion happening it's totally abstract but i, li I like it a little bit abstract like that we can okay extrude mesh is really weird because it doesn't fill the hole yeah in order to fill the hole you just need to do it this way maybe there's another way but i, I think this is the one that i use all the time once you fill the hole you know you we have this random extrusion as well happening you can remesh yeah remesh is cool as well because it's uh it's really looking at the volume you don't even need to merge um, the polygon you can merge if you want merge by distance doesn't really make any difference but it's doing the remesh for you of this object it's clean um, and yeah 
this is something that's originally you know like our grease pencil so if you just want to do it you know like a simple fill you can just go to the top view and it just fill it you know and, you, and you're gonna get these random shapes and I found that to be quite uh, therapeutic you know um, so yeah we have a way we have like all this happening um, let me show you again from the very beginning shift a create grease pencil blank top view we want something simple you know just draw I like to have big radius strength and just draw some doodles like drawing stroke like this seems like a really simple exercise however it takes some confidence right to draw strokes that creates shapes that you actually you you feel accomplished you know like you draw strokes and then it's drawing all this um, it's filling the gap you know it's and you you really confident in it and then you you feel you feel it with the just any color that you like let's try the orange and this type of exercise even though it's like manual and you gotta it's a little bit tedious however art is i think art is pretty tedious but doing this is a pretty fun exercise you just click and fill the gap so if you do it from the top view everything is simple so that's highly recommended the next thing you want right click convert this to bezier curve we can hide the grease pencil and we have this okay just go to geometry nodes resample I recommend you to resample so it's resembling the curve just use length fill hole with end gone so we get like a some kind of compound curve um, just extrude random value extrusion if you're oh yeah this this actually give quite um some kind of architecture feel about it so yeah we can play with the length it's actually doing the resample on the fly let's save this again some type of some type of design based on your simple grease pencil so that's quite that's quite something in itself I think um, we can also separate geometry this actually I think it does something it's separating the spline but in our case maybe we just wanna set uh, cyclic Maybe that's cleaner. Um, it could be like the curve that we need to get rid of. Extract palettes. If we just wanna to have this shape, convert to Bezier, still bringing that curve. A 
Let's try this. That's command L. Okay, we just have the shape. And then just copy the same thing. Copy modifier. Now this guy is cleaner. It's really pretty strange. Okay, it's pretty strange, but uh, still, it's quite something. Uh, and you, if you know your way around stroke and fill, and then how you can use it with geometry nodes, you can end up with uh, interesting shapes. That's uh, I don't know. I I I think this is quite interesting. <laughs> you might think this is like okay. This is just pretty basic and primitive, but still, it's a uh, It's good to know. And I'm, I'm just holding this, you know, and then just hold options and then sliding the seed. And yeah. If you're doing like prototype architecture stuff, this type of thing is uh, interesting. Okay, so that's basically Grease Pencil, Stroke, and Fill Tool, and Geometry Nodes. It's pretty fun to do. Give this, uh, just try to do this exercise yourself, and then just do it like uh, whenever you have kind of like a fifteen minutes to spare, just do this, and then yeah, it's quite like a thera therapeutic. All right. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.